Which object detection model really stands out in 2025, YOLO or RTDDR? On one side, we have YOLO, a model famous for its lightning-fast single-shot detection technique. YOLO predicts bounding boxes and class probabilities in one go, making it a top pick for real-time applications. On the other side, there's RTDDR, bringing transformer-based architecture into the world of object detection. This model leverages attention mechanisms to directly predict object locations and their classes, aiming for both speed and improved accuracy on complex scenes. But how do these approaches stack up when tested on the same videos? In this video, we'll compare YOLO and RTDDR inference side by side, breaking down their strengths, weaknesses, and real-world performance. Let's find out which model is best for object detection. If you enjoy our content and want to see more, don't forget to hit subscribe. Now, let me show you how you can perform comparison of YOLO and RTDT model. So, I have created this notebook which will simplify this process. It will show you how you can perform installation and setup for YOLO analytics and RTDT, then configure classes for both model and implement a, a video detection comparator classes to make your process of comparison easy. Now, for installation part, you have to install these eight libraries which are ultralytics which is the most important because it will use to, uh, to import both YOLO and RTDTA and then the torch you can use the GPU version or the CPU version I have installed it you have to just copy and paste it in your terminal or the environment you are using now then the next part is to, Im to import those library you are going to need so you have to import OpenCV, Time, Pandas, NumPy, Seabond, Partlib, you have to import Part. Then from Ultralytics, you have to import YOLO and RTDTA. So now I'll run this. In next, you have to uh, perform a model configuration class. So YOLO has various models like N, S, M, L, X. But for this, I'm going to use L or X because RTDTA model has only two. L or X model on Ultralytics. So let's set it. So now our main comparator class. It helps us to initialize YOLO model using YOLO and the model configuration of YOLO and then the RTDTA and the model configuration of RTDTA models. Now the confidence will be here and I will use it there. So with this you can initialize and using the form the frame process frame. You, it will perform inference on each frame by frame and show the result from there so you can get the bonding boxes of that so now this will uh, method will uh, save uh, save the model uh, inference in video and then there are some methods for generating report like this help us finding average inference standard inference minimum inference time maximum and then the average HPS and the average detection, total detection, average confidence. Now, now run this. Now, our first test case is using both LC, L series variant like Yolo V8 L RT beta L on a sample video. Here is our sample video. This is the sample video I am going to use for our comparison. This is a very pretty much simple video of a highway with a lot of traffic. Traffic perfect for the object detection. So now when this, it has started loading our YOLO model.
so our our some class has performed the comparison and this is the result everything difference time of yolo and articulator are equally same but the difference lies in standard inference time the inference time of uh, articulator is very lower than yolo so here articulator takes the victory and then the sps so average sps is almost same like 30 and 29 are equal then but the average detection per frame is higher for rd data than you low so you rd data takes the win here but total detection it around 10,000 and here is for 18,000 for single it's uh, because the fps uh, detection per frame is higher that's why total de detection throughout the video is higher for rd data and then there is the average confidence for each object so if the object detection what confidence it has yeah, will be the deciding factor of average confidence so yolo is more confident in detecting object than rt data but rt data are performing better in inference in every, uh, average detection per frame and the total detection so rt data l is better than yolo v 8 l now let's see the statistics you can use the output folder it will be created and then here is it there now let's see so you can see the visual graph like uh, average fps uh, yolo is a little bit better but the average detection artificial is taking the victory and the average confidence uh, yolo is taking the victory but as you can see the number of detection for the frame number for rd data is higher for each frame than yolo so i will say yolo is beaten here by rt data now let's see the result so this is the rt data result if you see it's doing pretty good like it has stopped it's, uh, it's seeing this as a motorcycle it's around let's see the same for uh, yolo so as you can see the comparison that yolo has fewer number of detection than rt data just by looking at it so i will say rt data is performed better now let's see our next test case for extra large uh, model which is x series the sample video is same Let's see the result. So now let's see the comparison result of X series. So as average inference is uh, pretty much same, 43, 45, and the standard inference is also nearly same. But uh, the RT data is taking a lot more time than YOLO. So YOLO takes a victory here, and the average FPS is same for both 23 and 22. Then the average direction per frame is better for are detected just like just like previous uh, l series so rt data is better at detecting object and now the total detection is twice as yolo we know that the average confidence of yolo is uh, uh, higher than rt data but just so rt data has won only one uh, metric every detection uh, it is nearly equivalent to YOLO, but due to this being a very great 
uh, deciding factor like you need the all detection in a frame so i will say rt data x is better than yolo v8 x so with this now you can see how you can compare both yolo and uh, rt data let's see the result of that now this these are the data i have saved on in a visualized format as you can see number of session per frame is higher for rt data than yolo and then the average fps is little higher for yolo but the average detection is way higher for rt data so now you can see rt data x series is better than a yolo v8x if you'd like to explore practical resources and hands-on examples we've created a dedicated github repository it's filled with cookbooks covering computer vision ai agents and more Link is in description.